Nagbukas noong 2012, ang Basil ay nagsiserve ng authentic Thai cuisine sa kanilang garden-inspired setting. The name basil comes from the Thai basil leaf called Bahorapa because a lot of the food is centered around the basil leaf. So if you notice, you had the, the leaves decorating the food and also cooked into the food. Meron tayong plato. Ito yung uh, crispy fish with green mango salad. 370 pesos yan. Actually, plato kasi catfish. Dito naman daw sa basil, ito ay tilapia. Nice. Yes, I love Thai food. I love the crispiness and the sourness and the sweetness. It's a great dish. I'm back. With a vengeance. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, man. Mm, it's good to eat. Halo halo, maasim, anghang. Crispy, di ba? May halong malaro sa texture, di ba? Ka fresh. Like you mentioned, I love how there's so many different textures in the dish. The tilapia tastes very crispy, and then there's the softness of the the mango. Sakto lang yung yung asim niya, tapos yung crispy nga rin yung isda. So bagay yung combination nila talaga. Heto na ang isa sa ipinagmamalaki ng basil ang kanilang pad thai. Lagyan ko na ng lemon ha. Anong papay-special sa pad thai yung kanilang tamarind paste niya? Nalagyan ng tamarind paste niya. Baka matapon eh. Siyempre, effective endorser si Bianca. So, ako naman, marupok. Amoyin ko. Oo nga. Mmm. That's so good. Saka yung chewy yung noodles na yun. Nalala sa amoy yung smoky na flavor, no? Yung alam mong stir-fried na quality yung smoky siya. Saka hindi sobrang, hindi overcooked yung noodles. Tang saktong-sakto lang talaga. Fresh. Wala na nagsasalita, sobrang sarap. Somewhere near my house, I always get to order pad thai. Hindi ganito yung noodles. Different yung pagkakaluto dito. I like how the pad thai is so nice and savory. Even with the pad thai, there's, there's still like a lot of different textures going happening. You know, there's the tog is kind of nice and crispy with the softness of the, of the pad thai. And the tok one is a bit, a bit crispy. And appetizers pa lang ito. We have... Today, excited ako makatry ng mga bagong dishes. Burr and Thai bagoong rice. Ooh, I'm so excited it. to eat! Yeah, ako po, mauuna na ako sa prawns oh. with garlic and pepper. Nakakayak, it looks so good. Very good. Nakakayak na. Pwede po ba mag-order ng hipon? Kasi kailangan po nang... Hindi namin malasahan. Itong si Bianca, mukhang sarap na sarap sa prawns. I love the prawns. Parang it's so like nice and firm. And it's fresh. The outside is nice. And it's like a prawn. It's a man prawn. Ugh! Yung prawns yung tipong pagkain na you're rendered speechless. And at the same time, you can say so many good things about it. Move on na tayo, guys. Husgahan naman natin ang kanilang chicken with cashew nuts. The chicken smells good. Yung chicken naman, grabe yung flavor. Mm. I mean, soy sauce and sugar, samanok, it's really good. I like it a bit too sweet for my liking. Actually, if there's chili powder, it's good. It's more sweet. It's more sweet. Apart from that, the flavor is so nice and full. Very well cooked. I'm so happy. And it's okay to eat it. It's just a little sweet for me. But it's okay. I just like the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. It's more sweet than the hang, but it's not. Hmm, sarap yung 
Bagong rice. I think this is one of the more uh, dependable na type of bagong rice na natikman ko. Tsaka may actual pork, so yung iba wala eh, di ba? Round 2 na tayo ng kanilang best-selling main dishes. Ano bang mayroon, Chef Chris? Right now, we have a crispy fish with uh, three flavored sauces for 825. Uh, we have our uh, spicy wagyu beef. Can I just say, I love the way this thing is presented. Ang ganda ng kulay niya. Parang it reminds in... him of nung buhay pa siya. Reminds nung, him. Nung buong isda pa siya before. In fairness, crispy fish din siya. Parang siyang sweet chili na may parang bilang tamarind sauce. Love it. Medina. Akin, yeah. Gusto ko siya. Kahit akin, parang personally, kahit wala masyadong sauce, okay na kahit ganyan lang, na-appreciate ko na siya. Lalo na yung crispiness niya, yung crunchy siya talaga, every bite. Sarap. Yung spicy wagyu beef, super lambot. Hindi na siya kailangan in-knife, eh. I heart you po. <laughs> Minsan lang ako ma-impress sa pag sinasamahan mo ng sauce yung title. Pero this one, ang pita rito yung sauce na. So, so sarap yung sauce. Well, parang for me, the Wagyu is kulang sa spiciness. Naanghangan na doon sa beef. Meron naman sa akin. Parang konting-konti lang. Hindi siya yung naglilinger. Oo. Uh -huh. You can customize naman eh. So, don't worry. And of course, mawawala ba naman ang sticky rice with mango to complete our authentic Thai meal? Bianca, ang galing ng friend natin sa Mulawin versus Rapid. Thank you! Ang galing, ha? Salamat po! Lakit ka nga ngayon. Mas fit ka ngayon, eh. Because of Mulawin versus Rapid. Oh! Actually, ngayon lang ako ulit kumakain ng marami para sa'yo. Thanks, my friend, ha? This is my favorite dessert of all time. Team na lang siya, man. Kaya pasok siya sa panlasa ng Pinoy kasi, di ba, malagkit. Fresh tropical mangoes and then coconut milk. Lahat yun, may, mayroon tayo. I like it. Mmm. Lasang las ako yung coconut. May pagkatamis yung sticky rice niya, no? Perfect Sarap. yung combination ng coconut and ng mango. Lahat gusto ko. Lahat ordering ko. Lahat gusto. Mm -hmm. Ngayon lang ako nakatikim ng may manik. Bagay siya. Sa halagang 260 pesos to 825 pesos, pwede na kayong makatikim ng authentic Thai cuisine sa Basil. And that is a good deal. Please come visit us at Basil here in the 30th Ayala Malls at the ground floor. We also have branches at Moa, Aria at the Fort, and our original branch in White Plains. You can also check out our Facebook and Instagram at Basil Philippines. Nagbukas lamang nitong January 2017, ang Toast Asian Kitchen and Tasting Room ay naghahain ng Asian cuisine with a twist. Mayroon din silang tasting room for all sorts of wine and alcoholic beverages. We opted for something happy. Toast, which meant cheers. We want people who come here have a very nice, happy vibe. It's not fusion, but it's more of playful Asian food, which we take different ingredients from different parts of Asia, and then we infuse it in whatever dishes that we have. Huwag na nating patagalin. Ready na kami to eat. Chef Mike, ano bang una? Ang toast salad is a take on the ensalada, the local ensalada. Kaya meron tayo dito na dito yung mga talong. That's why we use the bagong vinaigrette. Ako oh, gusto ko yung lasa ng salad. Masarap siya. Gusto ko siya. Gusto ko yung dressing niya. Very simple. I was about to say na very simple nga siya. Tinry namin yung dressing niya. Parang matapang siya eh. Mm. Pero once you mix it, it all works together. The compliments very well with each other. I really enjoy the salad also. I like the crispy noodles, yung crispy noodles uh, on top. Mm. I enjoy ko yun. With the uh, gulay. We use chicken thigh and then the shrimp. It's a hybrid prawn. Next, we have the wagyu cubes also. These are premium wagyu cubes. We all dress it in our teriyaki sauce, which is made in-house. We have a really, really good yakitori grill here, so we do it the proper way. The yakitori platter naman. Iba-iba yung lasa, but I like the chicken most. I tried the wagyu. The flavor is there. I don't appreciate that it's a little bit of a tostado. Oh, it's soft. Because it's a preference. It's a little bit. Wagyu, juicy, tender, meaty. 
bibi. At parang ganyan ang ginawa na sa Wagyu. Hindi niya lang masyadong ginulohan na maraming sauce. Mm-hmm. We allowed you yeah, to sure taste na natural. Kung sa tatong platter, I will go for the Angus and the Bipo. It's called Fries Bomb because it looks very different. It has eggs and then it has uh, okonomiyaki sauce, Japanese mayo, then it has forikake, and the fries are tossed in togarashi salt. Para na yung sauce. Egg. Whoa! Mm. It's the bomb. It's something that fun to eat kapag madami. Para siyang okonomiyaki. Yep, we're ready for our main. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. Here come their mains. The laksa is uh, inspired by the Singaporean laksa. But then here we added the uh, squid ink flavored with shrimp broth and some spices. All right, enjoy guys. The black and the healthy soup. Same squid ink. Noodles. Oh, it's a wrap. It has coconut milk, the squid ink, the spiciness. Gingery, coconutty, mm-hmm. milky, creamy. And yung soup niya parang, parang ito so silky. It's like magic. Yung anghang niya yung naglilinger na anghang. Uh, so super okay siya para sa mga mahilig talaga sa anghang. Salmon two ways. Ano bang two ways of cooking yan, chef? The soy miso glazed salmon is a uh, fancy salmon and then dressed with the soy miso glaze. The soy miso is also in-house and then it's drizzled with sesame oil and then topped with leeks and then some sesame seeds also. The chili lime honey naman, ang gamit natin dyan is we use local flavors. Local honey, tapos calamansi, and then togarashi. It's a bit more on the spicy side, pero hindi naman sobrang anghang na hindi ka kaya na ng tao. Kung gusto nyo naman ng one way lang, either of the two, that's only 300. Pesos. Wow. Hey Chris, I want to know sana, ano ba ang uh, kinakain ninyo ng iyong inyong mom and ng iyong grandmother? My mom cooks a lot more than I do. Whenever she's lazy, she she makes me cook. Can you invite us naman to your house? <laughs> ah, <laughs> There's always extras. Ko. Where do you live? <laughs> It's really good, but it's not the honey miso. Foy flavor. Oh, no, explosive in her oh. mouth. No, I like the other one. Ah, it's really? simple. La, sa... It was more refreshing. Ako naman, I like this salmon because I like that miso. The mm-hmm. winner today talaga is, the, is the miso honey with the laksa. But this is my number one. First of all, the salmon was cooked very well. And the miso gives that really nice umami. Parang I feel like I'm at home or something. Sa akin din, I like the miso. Mas strong yung flavor niya. Yun lasang lasa ko, tsaka mas sauce. The twice cooked, it was boiled and then it is seared. And then it's finished in honey garlic sauce. And then topped over salted egg fried rice. Ang gandang itsura nito, gali. It reminds me of the mountains. I like the twice-cooked pork with salted egg fried rice. I'm so happy to eat the twice-cooked pork. There are also salted egg bits. It's a wrap. Even without the toppings, it's a wrap. The salted egg is a wrap. The pork is good. It's not too hot. The rice chef, would you agree that it's like ulam and rice? I was about to say that it's a complete meal already by itself. And the pork is so soft, surprisingly. And then you can eat the fat with the meat. This one comes again from a recent travel from Japan. The roshi is for daikon, which is white radish. Normally, they put it on the seafood. But I thought that how would it taste with the steak naman? We tried it and I think it worked perfectly. And the fried rice is, the Japanese fried rice is more of an authentic style of Japanese fried rice. Parang tepanyaki style ang luto dun. Enjoy, hanggat na init. It looks super juicy already. Yeah, and the color. I enjoy nyo siya with the radish. Wow, it is so soft. Bonglet. It's so soft and juicy. The white radish naman sa taas, meron siyang sariling flavor na bibigay sa steak. Ang lakas ng flavor na nabibigay ng white radish. Parang woody flavor, di ba? Parang ibang level. Yung natural flavor lang ng, ng steak. And then I would think parang may, ano yan, may ponzu sauce sila nila, guys. For me, masarap na yung steak on its own. Pero pag nilagyan mo ng white radish, parang it takes it to a whole new level. I love the way they express the steak in a very Asian way. Sakto siya, everything, everything is sakto. But this rice is really good for some reason. I don't know why. And it goes perfect with the, with the steak. Heto na ang kanilang mga dessert, guys! 
the tapioca, it's a uh, broas, and then top with a mixture ng tapioca, and then some mango. Enjoy! So, kayo lalagyan. Gusto kayo pagkakasak. Mmm! Ano ito mga layers ito? Mmm, looks good. Wow, that's good. Ang sarap nun. Parang may cake nga. Creamy, milky, tapioca cream, and sponge cake. Yeah, it's... Crispy na cake. Parang may crispy in something, di ba? Uh, yung matcha brazo, it's a four-layer cake. It starts with the chiffon, and then the custard, the matcha ice cream, and then the brazo. And then we sprinkle it with a bit of crystallized sugar. So we have to get everything. Mm -hmm. Ang lambot ng brazo. And the wow, that smells good. This is good also. But yeah, oh, oh, masaya na rin ako dito. Parang this one is on the sweeter side, no? Ako, I like this one better. Ang Toast Asian Kitchen and Tasting Room ay matatagpuan din sa ground floor. Ayala Mall's The 30th, 30 Meralco Avenue, Pasig City. Isa sa newest resto rito sa Ayala Mall's The 30th, ang Blue Smith Coffee and Kitchen na nagsiserve ng paboritong comfort food at specialty-grade coffee. A smith is an artisan, someone who forges uh, something raw into something refined. So we wanted to have the spirit of a smith from our raw ingredients all the way to the final dish which we prepare in an artisan way. Welcome to Blue Smith. Just to give you an idea, comfort food, all-day breakfast food, and also they are known for their coffee, Shepre, with their dishes. Let's start with their soup and salad. The blue cheese wedge salad is made of lettuce wedges with blue cheese dressing. It's topped with honey, toasted walnuts, and grapes. Look at that. Ang ganda nito. I like wedge na vegetables in your salad, especially kapag teaser salad. You get to experience the wholeness of the vegetable kasi it's served to you. Ang ganyan, isang bungkos, and then drizzled with dressing and whatnot. Kung texture yung hanap mo and crunch, Guaranteed with that one bungkos ng, ng, ng gulay. Interesting. The salad's very refreshing also. I also like how it tastes good with the walnuts and the, the grapes. This is for sharing. Parang tatlong tao nga yung pang share. The chili soup with homemade cornbread is an, a Latin American inspired dish composed of chilies and a lot of spices. The cornbread is baked in house fresh daily. Like Meaty, hearty. You like it with a bit of heat. Yeah. Like it with a bit of meat, tomato, sarap. Yeah, the cornbread is so good. It's it's nice and dense. But when you bite into it, I like how toasted the outside is and the inside super fluffy. Oh, this is what I like because it's sarap niya. The cornbread really goes well with the chili soup. One serving per plate. This is your Asian tao yan. Okay, nyan. Dami no. It's a delicious meal. Best chili soup. Daming garlic. There's That's... potatoes. Yes. Garlic. Tenderloin ba? Hindi siya overcooked. I like how it was marinated. The potatoes itself is good na. You know what guys, tenderloin, hindi siya madaling lutuin. When you're able to incorporate that much flavor into it, ibig sabihin, very thought of yung process ng pagluluto. So, thumbs up tong salpicaw na to, panalong panalong man. Sabi ko hindi na ako magre-rice kasi busog na ako, pero you really have to eat it with rice. Kailangan talaga may kanin. I am thankful na they're big chunks of tenderloin. Dami natin protein. Correct. Mmm. Napapapikit ka ba sa sarap? Lame. Manaman natin ang kanilang burger steak. The burger steak is a classic favorite. Everyone grew up with a classic burger steak. But this time, we used pure Wagyu patty topped with our milk gravy. Enjoy it. Wow, that juice. When you see you. Ang kapal ng patty. Oh, may juice And na yan, no? And ang steak ng gravy niya. Ang kapal mo. <laughs> Parang I can imagine this yung sizzling na version. Ang sarap din. Yes. Yes. Nagagayon yung gravy niya. Oh. Grabe. Caramelized onion with the beef and the egg and the rice. It's all perfect. Sobrang juicy niya talaga, no? And the gravy is so creamy. Very generous. Right? Kala mo maligit yung burger, pero ang thick kasi niya. Best Wagyu ever. Sarap. <laughs> Favorite ko na to for <laughs> the day. Ito na yun. <laughs> 
The French toast is the classic breakfast dish, but this time, instead of using the regular white loaf, we used baguette, and then we had grilled peaches, toasted cashews, and a lot of whipped cream. The syrup is infused with orange, and we also top the whole dish with orange zest for the intense flavor. Oi! Oh, yeah. It's beautiful! Plus, uh, you have to pair it with their coffee. Their coffee selection is, uh, they say, our best sellers. Their uh, sure ball hits. I love the painting of this one. I love height and plating. Eh? Yep, me too. Height and color. Height and color. Also, notice na yung kanilang uh, pak French toast usually brioche bread, di ba? Oh, brioche type. Ito, mm. ito ay baguette. They use baguette. I'm not ready for this. It's, it looks so pretty. <laughs> Yung maple syrup na ginamit nila, parang may, may halong may orange. May halong orange, mm, diba? Galing. Very smart. And also this, yung whipped cream, ano nila, no? Yung whipped cream may parang orange zest, I think. Fantastic. I also like how they kind of cook the peaches. Mm -hmm. yeah. Parang may grill mark yeah. siya, no? Saka gusto ko yung na-repurpose mo yung baguette. I think it's just uh, pure genius. Blue Smith beef tapa is everyone's favorite tapa, but leveled up. We use pinakurat, so it's a bit spicy, but uh, it perfectly complements a sweet beef tapa. The tapa is sweet, plus the pinakurat. Ko iting ka mo first thing in the morning. I like the manipis yung tapa. I like that their pangim pang kontra ay spicy na pinakurat na suka. Ako suko yung plating. Sa kain kahit walang pinakurat, mas sarap na. Time for some dessert, guys! Finally! Dark chocolate oh, wow. mo the entire day. What <laughs> sorcery? What sorcery is this? Oh. Oh. Realness! Realness! Wow! So clap. Sobrang crunchy. Perfect din siya with the coffee. Nakaka-base load! Nandun yung crunchy quality ng churros, di ba? Ang regular waffles, di ba? Comfort food enough na siya. Sila ginawa pa nilang dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So lalong... Hmm. Parang sige, elegant. You know what I did? I dipped the, the waffle in the coffee. Ah, I'll do that, my friend. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. May konting something. <laughs> Parang nainggit din ako. Gusto ka rin itry. <laughs> Of course, when they open at 9 a.m., all the way hanggang, hanggang 10 p.m., 11 p.m. every day, dito sa Blue Smith, you get to uh, experience these dishes and more. All these things are something that you can easily find somewhere else. It's very specific to Blue Smith. If you want to try our food, come over here in Ayala Mall sa 30th. We're located at the second floor. We also have another branch in Pasong Tamo, Makati, and we will open our third branch in Greenbelt 3. Check out our Instagram account at, at bluesmithck. See you!